Okay, right here is a 1948 Bucyrus Erie 1150B. This is considered the first super drag line that was built by Bucyrus Erie. The machine was launched in 1944, and when it was introduced, the 1150 was the largest walking drag line built and offered by Bucyrus Erie at that time. The machine had a production run that lasted up until 1950, and it was developed from the earlier 950B. Now, if you compare pictures of the older 950B to the 1150B, you will notice that the two drag lines look very similar in their design. And that's because what Bucyrus engineers did was basically use the designs of the 950B to design and build a larger drag line, which was the 1150B. As you can see, the drag line is now shut down out of service and all sealed up to prevent vandals from going up inside and ripping the machine apart. For that reason, I'm not going to be able to take you up inside of the machine and show you around, but I will take you around the outside, show you around the machine, and tell you some history and information about an 1150 Bucyrus. Here you can get a good view of the back of an 1150. If you look in the center of the house, you can see two metal doors that will open up to allow air circulation in back by where the motors and generator sets are. Up inside the house of an 1150 are two electric generator sets. One produces 1,250 horsepower, and the other produces 500 horsepower. There are two hoist motors and two drag motors, each producing 425 horsepower. There are three swing motors, each producing 125 horsepower, and also two propel motors, each producing 100 horsepower. On the right hand side of the machine, you can see a heavy weight maintenance crane. And this is used in case a motor or heavy piece of machinery should break up inside the house. The mechanics have a way to raise and lower the piece of machinery on or off the drag line. Here you can see one of the massive shoes on the 1150. There are two of these, one on each side, and this is what is used to walk the machine. If you look at the shoe, you will notice that it almost looks like it is bent to one side, when in fact it really is not. Right here you can see where the shoe pins to the cranking mechanism, and it is here at this point where the shoe receives flexibility to bend to the left or to the right a little bit for when it is walking over an uneven ground surface. Right here, you can see the cranking mechanism, which is connected inside the machine to the shaft. And when engaged, it will push both shoes down on the ground, tip the back of the drag line up, and slide this entire machine backward. An 1150B has an approximate 0.2 mile per hour travel speed. Up top, you can see the operator's cab and take note of the sheet metal that's been welded over the windows to prevent vandals from smashing them out. A Bucyrus 1150 could be set up with a boom ranging anywhere from 180 to 215 feet. But there was also a larger 230 foot boom that was offered for an 1150, but this would decrease the bucket capacity greatly. The standard bucket for an 1150 Bucyrus can range anywhere from 20 to 25 cubic yards. This 1150 is set up with a 180 foot boom and a 25 yard bucket, which you can see right here. This was the largest bucket that could be installed on an 1150. If the 230 foot boom were installed on the machine, the bucket capacity would decrease down to 14 cubic yards. As you can see, this is a double rope drag line. Double rope meaning it has two ropes for the hoist and two ropes for the drag. You can see where the two drag ropes run out from the fair leads. The fair leads keep the drag ropes further away from the front of the machine so that when the bucket is being casted out or pulled in, the ropes don't fishtail back and forth and tear the side of the house of this machine apart.
Here you can see the tub on the 1150, which measures 44 feet in diameter. And here you can see all the individual rollers that will swing the drag line when it's running. As you can see, the 1150B features a secondary mast to support the main boom. The ropes from the A-frame support the mast, which in turn supports the main boom. And as I said earlier, the 1150B was in production up until 1950. The following year saw the introduction of the machine's successor, which was the model 1250B. In total, 17 1150Bs were built by Busiris Busiris-Erie. And the overall working weight of this machine, with a 180-foot boom as you see right here, is 1,210 tons. But there she is, a 1948 Busiris Busiris-Erie 1150B.